Hello, DR. I'm Evan Cardoza. And I'm Mitchell Guerrero. And on this week's DR News, we have Speech Club, High Five Club, World News, More Core Values, Veterans Day Special, Teacher Highlight of the Week, and Student Interviews. This, 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 this and this is DR News. Hi, everyone. I'm Corey Snook. This past week, we held the annual DR Speech Tournament. Madison Bertan took home sixth place in novice reading, as did Jillian Henrique in play reading. Jordan Eadman had a sixth place finish in radio broadcasting, while speech captain Brendan Henrique took home third place overall in impromptu speaking. The improv team of Surrey Holker and Madison Bertan came in second, and the team of Carissa Steiner and Maddie McMahon were the improv champions. Surrey Holker was also the champion in play reading. All in all, the DR team came in second overall and had a great tournament. Here's the last week's and this week's high five recipients. High five, Evan. Here are the new High Five Club recipients. Quentin Small is enrolled in several AP and Honors classes. He's a member of the wrestling team and the math team for three years. He plans to attend a four-year college to study computer science and become a software engineer. Abby Bushell enrolled in several AP and Honors classes. She's an ambitious soccer player on the varsity soccer team for four years and the 2014 soccer captain. She plans to attend a four-year university to study nursing. When you see them in the hallway, be sure to give them a high five. Who's that teacher? Say, Evan, what's going on in the world right now? I don't know. Let's take a look at world news. I'm Ben Brown. And I'm Cody Trudeau. And this is World News. A group of tourists spent hours on a Saturday night looking for a missing woman in an Iceland canyon. The search was called off at about 3 a.m. when the missing woman was found in said group of tourists looking for herself. I guess she doesn't know her own personality very well. Musical artist Usher is releasing a new track titled Clueless, which I'll leave, will be available exclusively in boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. This promotion is a result of the uh, Bee Mascot appearing in Usher's most recent music video, She Came to Give It to You. And again, I'm Ben Brown. And I'm Cody Trudeau. And that's been this week's edition of World News. Coin Drive will take place during lunches all week in the cafeteria. Pennies are worth one point and you want them in your own class jar. Silver and dollars are worth negative amounts. Nickel equals minus five points, and you want to put them in other classes' jars. Next week's food drive, we are collecting all non-perishable items. Drop them off at your class representatives in the foyers every morning next week. All food stays in the community, going to the Dighton Food Pantry and Rehoboth Helping Hands Food Pantry. Here's this week's core values with Scott George. Where have you seen independence in the school? Uh, I think students are required to be incredibly independent. They have to kind of take a hold of their own education, study, um, and DR really fosters the skills to be independent because in college, your professor won't hold your hand. And at DR, we want to show you how to be independent, depend on resources, and use it for your advantage and to better your knowledge. Where have you seen integrity in the school? Oh. Yeah. Hello ladies and gentlemen of DR. Ever find yourself in need of a pencil, or a sweatshirt, or how about something to drink out of? Look no more, the school store has everything you could need. Bracelets, stress balls, markers, bundles, we have it all and so much more. So come on down to the school store, open every morning in room 219, be there, be square. And just in this week, special spirit week glasses and pom-poms. Say Evan, what's Veterans Day all about? I'm not sure. Let's go to me and Corey Snook with a Veterans Day special. Hello DR, I'm Mitchell Guerrero. This past Tuesday was Veterans Day, a day where we honored the men and women who fought and served in our military for our beloved country. We have veterans from World War I, World War II, Vietnam War, Korean War, and veterans in the modern day. So honor those veterans who have given you the freedom and liberty you have every day. God bless America. It's Mr. Delano! Here's this week's teacher highlight with Matt and Trenton. Hey DR, I'm Trenton Saliba here with history and drafting teacher, Mr. Delano. So Mr. Delano, what school did you attend to get your teaching degree? I attended Bridgewater State College when I started going to school. Uh, and I took long enough, because I kind of drew out my experience because I worked full time while I went to school. And it was Bridgewater State University when I graduated. So it says that on my diploma. So my last question to you is, what inspired you to become a teacher? I'd say, it's kind of like an amalgamation of 
four or five teachers that I had when I was in high school, Mr. Ruist, Mr. Taylor, uh, Mr. Derry. They kind of inspired me in the way they, you know, held the classroom, the way they inspired us students, that I kind of wanted to go teach. I wasn't good at math, so it was either history or English, and so history one that was a little more interesting to me. Once again, I'm Trent Saliba, and this is Mr. Delano. Have a good weekend, y'all. Stay classy. Now, here are this week's student interviews with Ben. Who else but Ben? Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? I have no clue. Then it'd be a foot. Uh, no way. What's brown and sticky? I don't. A stick. What do you call the cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. No, it's my cheese. <laughs> Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Whoa! You know, I once heard a joke about amnesia, but I forgot how it goes. Great job. <laughs> that concludes this week's edition of DR News. I'm Evan Cardoza. And I'm Mitchell Guerrero. Ebita, Ebita, have a good weekend, DR.